Hey, what's up guys, Toned Up? So in my yard, I got a lot of blackberries. Uh, love eating them. Uh, this year, I got some good crops. Um, got some very nice uh, blackberries. And some of the huge. And the season is almost over. So we pick a, quite a lot of blackberries. Uh, some of them I put in a Ziploc bag and freeze them. It's just safe for later since I can't eat all of them. Um, so today I'm going to talk about taking care of your blackberry bushes. Uh, you ever notice um, like some of your new growth and you see a lot of bugs eating the leaves? Some of them, they all completely chew off the uh, the end of the, uh, the young growth. There's no leaves on them. Yeah, they um, can devastate your crop if you uh, try not to keep an eye on them. Especially, you only have like a few plants. Here, I got a lot. We with even with so many plants, I mean, they still did a number on them, um, eating up all the uh, new growth. Let me show you how what's eating these leaves. Uh, during the daytime, it's a little hard to spot. Um, you still can find them, but not as easy. So let me uh, see if I can uh, show you uh, what's eating these uh, new growth. Right now the sun is out and a little too bright to see those um, bugs that are eating the leaves. Luckily, um, the sun is hooked up to my smart device. Uh, let me go and turn it off. All right, with the uh, sun turned off, uh, let's go look for uh, some uh, of those uh, insects eating the, uh, the leaves. Uh, first you need is a uh, spotlight and a pair of gloves to smoosh them with. Got my spotlight. It's very easy to spot them at uh, night time. They come out in full force. So here you have one right there. Right there, let me pick it up for you. So you have these caterpillars. That's what's eating the leaves. This is just like a small one right here. So what I do is I take it and smush it. Kill it. And there's lots of them on the leaves. They come out at nighttime. And, and here you got one right here dangling on a, on a web and that's how they, they leap from one branch to another branch and when they're being disturbed uh, they will uh, drop from the uh, the branch and hang by uh, uh, by a web so what I want to do is like uh, try to catch it and kill it and that's it Here's another one right here, right there. Just smush it. Sometimes you just shake the, the branch a little bit and they'll drop down. You can get them that way too. Some of them are very small, like this one you can see right there. It's a tiny one right there, right there. And kill it. Yeah, there's a lot of them. They, you can see in the pop up everywhere. This one right here, you see, right there. And just grab and smush it. I 
there. So there's a lot of caterpillars. Like tiny one, like see right here, another one here. And there are a lot of them on the, um, the branches eating the leaves and they'll just, they will eat all the new growth. See right there? Another one dangling. And you got another tiny, tiny one right there. Right there, there's a tiny, tiny one right there. Yeah, so what you want to do is uh, catch it and squish it. Yeah. And that's how you kill some of these uh, caterpillars. See another one right there? Yeah. There's so many of them. There's more right here. Tiny, tiny, tiny little caterpillar. And they're very destructive. And they will just eat and eat until there's like a no more leaves left. Tiny, tiny little one right there. Smart shit, kill them. There's a, there's a lot. You normally normally you can't see in the daytime, but nighttime they out here eating. There's so many on the leaves. These are smaller ones. Once in a while, I'll spot some bigger ones. Right there. You can easily spot these uh, caterpillars. They're everywhere on these leaves here. And uh, they're just eating away. Uh, some are very tiny and some are larger. Here's one right there. So what you want to do is just pick it up and squeeze and kill it. And sometimes you'll see them like dangling in midair. They're real tiny. And uh, so when the branches, if you shake the branch, sometimes they'll drop down to the ground or sometimes it's just hanging by a web. So you want to kill it. And here's another one right there. There. Yeah, they are. These little small things, but there's a lot of them. They can eat up all the uh, new growth very quickly. And, well, I can't stop them. I mean, yeah, they eventually they'll. They'll eat. I got a lot of plants here. I mean, I'll try to slow them down, but but I'm not here to protect these to protect these branches. You know, 24 hours seven. But yeah, if you have like um a few of these um, plants and you want to protect them, that's one way to come out at nighttime. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but they will attach half their body onto the plant. And the other side, it's just kind of propping up, like they're standing up. And you can see it right there. There's one right here, there's one right here, and this one just dropped down a little bit. Uh, you got one right here. And yeah, they are, there's a lot of small ones. And as a whole, they will just eat up all the leaves very quickly and they will grow as they eat. Here I got some small ones to the bigger ones. So during the daytime you come out and you see like all these plants with like got holes in the leaves and everything and some of the, uh, the new growth that have been chewed off and what's eating them are these caterpillars right here. They're very destructive and they can grow to this size right here and uh, even maybe a little bigger, just eating away. So if you have like a small garden with uh, some blackberry plants, 
or raspberry possibly you see this kind of destruction on your new leaves and this is these are your culprits right here so at night time you come out you find them and you smush them and that's how you get rid of them all right so I uh, hope this video helpful on your identifying what's eating your blackberries uh, new growth and uh, thanks for watching and until next time bye and that's how you uh, get rid of them